Welcome to another Lucid chart tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grade a UML diagram. All right. So first up, go ahead and go to your Lucid chart dashboard. Now, once you're in here, go ahead and click on plus or the new button right here at the top left. Now go ahead and hover your mouse into intelligent diagram right here. Lucid chart and to click on blank document. All right. Wait for it to load. Now, once it loads, as you can see here, we don't have any UML shapes. Now, how do we add one? Just go ahead and click on more shapes right here at the very bottom. Okay. Click on it. Now go ahead and use the search bar and type in UML. Just like that. But if you want to, you can go ahead and add them all. If not, you can go ahead and pick whichever is necessary. Okay. Now for this example, I'm just going to click all. And then I'm going to click on use selected shapes. Okay. Now, as you can see here in the left panel, we have the UML use case, state and activity right here, a sequence, component, and entity relationship. Now that you have these shapes right here, or UML shapes, you can just go ahead and drag and drop. Okay. Now, for example, this one right here, I'm just going to drag it like so. And I'm going to name it maybe a editor. Okay. Next step would be to add a class. Okay. Drag and drop maybe in here. Okay. I'm going to rename the class, maybe topics, just like that. Now, if you wanted to add in some lines, go ahead and click on a shape. All right. Then use this point, these outer points to draw a line. For example, below right here, I'm just going to drag it like so. And here you can go ahead and add in some multiplicities or reverse the line direction. Okay. Because here the line is going to the uh, topics. If you want to uh, reverse it, go ahead and click on this uh, button. And as you can see here, it's been reversed. Now, when you click on the line in here and maybe uh, add multiplicities. Now, here, for example, there is only one editor. I'm going to zoom in. All right. One. And maybe the list of topics right here would be uh, zero to maybe three all right just like that just hit on enter and once done you can go ahead and add in some more for example some uh uml use case right here i like the text all right maybe drag and drop the text in this line okay i'm gonna name it maybe a topic search just like that we got some option loops here as well off page length constraint entity boundary and control. Okay. Also delete. Now maybe I'm going to add in an attribute right here. At the end. I'm going to make it bigger. Like so. And then I'm going to connect this one to attribute. I'm going to create a text just like that. Like upload to YouTube. Okay. If you want to, you can go ahead and add in some image if you want. If not, you can just go ahead and use these shapes right here. For example, a play button. This one will, will resemble a play button. Just go ahead and rotate this one. Just like that. Okay. Move it. Besides YouTube. And I'm going to make the color red. Just like that. Okay. That's basically how you create a UML diagram and lose a chart. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.